Every day the anteaters get a nice treat of live termites. This is Panama, a harpy eagle. Ah. Okay, that's the way how we call it crocodiles. National animal of Belize. Hi, welcome to the Belize Zoo, the best little zoo in the world. I'm Sharon Matola, the founder director of the zoo. Join me as we meet the animals of Belize in their natural habitats. And listen, none of our animals were taken from the wild. They're either orphans, they're confiscated by the government of Belize, born here, or sent to us as gifts from other zoos. They put our visitors in touch with the magnificent beauty of the wildlife that calls Belize their home. We want them here for future generations. So join me. We'll take a closer look at these fabulous creatures and you'll see why the Belize Zoo is such a cool, cool place. Part of the fun about coming to the zoo is getting very, very, very close to these fabulous creatures. Beautiful bird, huh? This is a scarlet macaw, a very special bird here in Belize. Very rare. Uh, very few left, and we hope that these macaws alert all of our visitors about how special our country is to still have a few of the birds. Good! This is a very famous April the Tapir, one of our longest residents here at the Belize Zoo. She's been here for over 20 years, and April has educated thousands of people about her species, the Central American tapir, how rare they are, how endangered. They are our national animal, and we are still very lucky to have them living in our forests. One of the things that we want to do here at the Belize Zoo is breed this endangered species. It's very important to keep healthy genes in captivity, just in case there's a chance to put them back in the wild in the future and possibly have a tapir family at the Belize Zoo. April the tapir particularly likes the month of April because that's when she has her annual birthday party, yes. And we always invite school kids. Everybody has a great time as April shares her cake with her buddies, Sabo and Bullethead. The importance of the zoo is to educate the children about animals. Who wants to come see the zoo with me today? Me! Who wants to see the spider monkeys? Me! All right, good, let's go. Oh, he's going to jump. Watch. Ready? Can you jump like that? Oh! <laughs> They're going to start swinging again, guys. Watch. Okay, that's the way how we call it crocodiles. And they are cold-blooded. It's a natural habitat. They have fresh water, so they can swim very good. They don't eat every, every day. We feed them every 10 or 15 days. I love to bring people to the zoo because a lot of people feel a lot wise is just for kids, but they're pretty wrong. It's fun. It's beautiful because all the animals are in their natural habitat. That's really nice to see. <laughs> we make sure our monkeys get lots to eat. The Belize Zoo is the only zoo in the world who has successfully bred this species of howler monkey. Come and see just how cute they are. <coughs> Woohoo! Are you a hungry boy? This is Panama, a harpy eagle. We have a very special relationship. I've raised this bird and by hand feeding him, I keep him people friendly. He's an ambassador for his species in the wild. Now, there once used to be a population of harpy eagles living in Belize, but they've been pretty much wiped out. We're working with the Peregrine Fund. These eagles are bred in captivity and brought back to Belize and let go. Hey, they're doing great. They're living. They're thriving. Panama could not be released because he was hatched, unfortunately, blind in his left eye. 
So this guy has a very important mission. He's a spokes harpy for his wild counterparts, and he teaches thousands of people that harpy eagles are pretty cool birds. No, they don't attack people. Yes, they're important to keep the forest ecology here in balance. The harpy eagle is awesome. I love the easy access to the animals. They're up so close. I like the crocodiles. Black jaguar, they all get carried away. Look at those teeth! <laughs> Beautiful animal. Look at the animal on the forest. <laughs> Get some great animals. I think we're very blessed to have them here. Well, besides some very interesting things to see inside the enclosures here at the Belize Zoo, we have some interesting things outside of the enclosures like this. What you're looking at is a termite nest. That's right. Termites related to ants are highly socialized insects and they live in huge numbers. They're blind as bats. As they build these nests, they actually chew up old wood and dissolve it and make these little chambers. And there is one thing that is totally enamored by the termites, our anteaters. Every day the anteaters get a nice treat of live termites. Um, you can see how they are busy now ripping it off and as you notice they love the attention. The zookeepers have a passion for these animals and as they go about during their daily chores they spend as much time as they can 